What's going on guys, Azim is here with my Stamina Templar PvP build. Before we get into the build, I am going to be going over two different setups. My first setup being what I use for Battlegrounds, and my second setup being what I use for the no proc serial test that's going around right now. So before we get into the build, let's look at our stats buffed. As you can see, we have 6.8k weapon damage, 2100 stam recovery, 700 health recovery, 500 magicka recovery, 14k maximum magicka, 24.8k health on the front bar, and then 25.8 on the back bar, 31k max stem, and our back bar for our resistances, we have 25k spell resistance, 22k physical resistance, and 1900 critical resistance. Standing off of the rune, we have 22k spell resistance and a 19.5k physical resistance. Rebuffed, we have 35.8% crit with 3300 penetration. Getting into the sets, we are running Briarheart and Ancient Dragon Guard. As our main sets, we have the Briarheart 2H Maul Nernhoned with the Berserker Enchant. And then on our back bar, we have Potentates just to reduce a little bit of player damage. I know other people run a two piece set that gives them more resistances or critical resistances. I haven't really tested it and I'm too lazy to craft them to actually put it into test and see if it's better than potentates but if you don't have it you can definitely rock those as well. I have double dot poisons on my back bar, I sh you should be using escapist I'm just too lazy to craft them that's why I have double dot. And we are running bloodspawn as our monster set and ancient dragon guard as our second set. Now Ancient Dragon Guard is going to give you a little bit of weapon and spell damage which is also going to help your healing from both your Rally, Vigor, and also a little bit from the Cleanse. What I like about Ancient Dragon Guard is the resistances that you get when your health drops below 50% because when your health starts going below 50% you're typically not going to be attacking, you're always going to be on your defensive and you usually pop a Vigor and then you're chilling. For Ancient Dragon Guard, we have the chest, waist, gloves, legs, and boots, and we are using 511. I have the heavy shoulders and a light belt, an impen. We have all impen on the body and two well fitted. And for our jewelry, we have Briarheart with all weapon damage enchanted. And for our food, we are running Artem's Takeaway Broth. This is basically dubious, but it gives you health recovery, which is going to help with a little bit more survivability. And for our Mundus, we have the Serpent for Stam Recovery. I'm not going to be going over champion points as I mainly play in no CP and with the new changes to the CP system, it's just not really. It, everything's kind of straightforward now. If you have the points to dump into most things, then do that. Um, if you don't, then just fill what you can and use that instead. Moving on to the second set that I use for the no proc serial testing, I'm not going to do a full review of it but I am just going to show you what I run and what the stats look like. Now for the second set, this is pretty much meta, everyone is using it, it's Spriggans and Impreg. Um, with the changes to the, or the testing that's going around in Cerdo right now, all procs are disabled so it's pretty much very minimal sets that you can use and the norm right now for stand builds is mostly Impreg or Fortified Brass and then Spriggans. For the build, just a quick rundown, I have the 2H Maul, still using Potentates on the back bar, One Piece Blood Spawn for Stam Recovery, we have all Impreg on the body, and a Lord Warden just for a little bit more armor, and then the Spriggan's Jewelry with all weapon damage enchant. Now you get a lot of Stam with this build, so all of my enchants are health, just because it doesn't hurt to have more health, as you can still see I have 31k max Stam, and 28k health on the back bar, and 27.5 on the front bar. Getting into the skills, we have Rally as our weapon damage buff and burst heal, Camouflage Hunter as our crit and a little bit of more damage with Minor Berserk as the passive, Finding Javelin as our stun, Fighting Jabs as our bread and butter DPS, and Executioner as our execute, and Dawnbreaker for our ultimate. On the back bar, we, this is a flex spot, I use Power of the Light and I usually swap it out with Pierce Armor. Um, with Pierce Armor, you're going to get a lot more penetration because it's going to do major and minor breach, which is going to give you a lot more pen. But the thing is, if you're fighting a Magsork or someone who likes to kite around a lot, it's going to be kind of hard to keep this on them. 
So you lose out on this being able to cast it at a distance and then close it. And it's also a little bit more burst, but it's up to you guys. I typically swap this out every other game. It just depends on the type of fights I have. For our second skill, we have Elude. This is going to be a little bit of damage reduction from AoEs, but mainly used as our speed buff. Figure as our heal over time, standard heal. Restoring focus as our resistance buff and a little bit of stamina recovery and extended ritual so that we can cleanse ourselves which is also going to get rid of snares when we need a getaway and we have our back part ultimate which is temporal guard we mainly use this as a little bit of damage reduction and you also block occasionally to get the shield that comes up all right that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see the build in action i'm gonna leave timestamps down below of both of the builds just so you can get a feel for how they work in actual PvP environment. Peace out.